Yeah, I'm uh, Dave Mulligan. I'm one half of Born Pochin. Started the company three years ago with uh, Cara Humphreys, and then yeah, we're we're kind of leading the resurgence on uh, Pochin in London. Born just means white in Irish, you know. So we wanted to we wanted to keep it really simple. People are already trying to get their head around what this illegal underground spirit is. So I mean, Everton with the style of drinking it, we just like drinking it straight. We wanted it to be the white Irish spirit and really differentiate it from whiskey. So the more we said born being white, it just made sense. Keep it simple. The double meaning ban can obviously be referenced. You know, it was banned for over 300 years. But uh, when we were thinking of it, it was definitely about being white. Oh fuck, there's too many to tell. <laughs> my first encounter was actually my mother, believe it or not, when I was 12 years of age. But it was all, uh, it was all accidental. And um, my mother used to have a cake shop in Dublin, you know. The shop was on the top floor and then they'd uh, the workspace in the basement. And I'd come in, I was a young lad, I think I'd been playing basketball. I came into my mother's shop and uh, dying of the thirst, you know. And I saw what I thought was a, a bottle of sparkling water or a bottle of flat water, whatever it was, it was branded. And I just poured myself a glass and I was surrounded by women working away at cakes, you know, and I, I just nailed this thing and it got to about here and then rejected everything in my body to get rid of it. But just I remember the women cackling, laughing, you know, they, they just couldn't stop laughing that the little young fella drank the patch bean. I'm not at liberty to say. Um, I've, been, I've encountered a few, but uh, yeah, I won't, I, I won't comment on that. So we're scaling up. We made our first batch on, on a wee still, 160 litre still, and then we're going up onto uh, fairly sizable whiskey stills as we speak. Massively, yeah. So again, we're, we've moved up to the, the north of Ireland and working with the guys at the Ecklandville Distillery, they've just been a, a game changer for us. You know, we used to make it in West Cork, and West Cork Distillers, they're contract distillers essentially, so they just, they just call you, tell you it's ready, and while well, they really helped us out at the start, when we were on it, wanted to work on the liquid and really get down to it and get into the production, um, Eckenville were the only guys really willing to let us inside the distillery. So we, we spent a year on and off working with them and we only use pot stills. You know Shane Braniff who owns it, he grows and malts all that barley, he's a farmer by trade, you know. Got the potatoes all from Northern Ireland and then we managed to, a lot of experimentation with our sugar beets, we managed to, we use the extract out of them now, so the sugar beet molasses, you know. But um, yeah, these guys just gave us time, they gave us energy, they gave us expertise and uh, just we're all a big family now. We wouldn't be here without them, you know, so they're as, as much a part of Bourne as, as myself and Carla. Like. The good thing about us is um, at the distillery we've always got that little 160 litre still, so there's there's a lot of styles of punchy in that myself and Carl want to do, so. Give us time, we'll get to that. We've got to, we've got to establish this one, and we don't want to cloud the message with um, too many, too many liquids. We've got to explain what it is before we start extending the rage. You know, we didn't get into Pochin to be, to be doing big, big business. You know, but there's, there's just so much red tape with alcohol. It's a really tricky, tricky market. Judy is obviously a killer. You know, you've got to pay these huge chunks of Judy up, up front just to release your stock. All the fucking booze. <laughs> No, uh, yeah, it has been just getting out there. It's been so well received by the um, by the on trade in London. You know, on and off trade. Talking to people in Ireland is great. My favourite are always the, the really old school boys. You know, when they when they get a taste of Pachin and they'd be my father's age now, but when they taste it and they say, Jesus, that's real fucking Pachin. That, I mean, that that's about the most credible response you can get. The best moment for me was walking into a bar up in Dalston and. I hadn't been in there before, I hadn't tried to sell it, I knew Cara hadn't been in there and I, I walked in about to tell them about my product and there it was sitting on the back bar beside the Jameson so that was definitely a, a personal best. First Pachin Day is just gone, 18th of November. We did it here at the Sun obviously, um, yeah it was a big night. First one, big success. Like most things at the Sun it was a bit of a drunken conversation but uh, yeah we just did it for a bit of fun. It was no one had ever done it before, you know, and I don't think anybody gets behind Pachin like like you guys do, and you know, like us at Bourne do. So uh, we'd seen something. There was a there was an international happy hour day, and we said, "Oh fuck it, if they can do that, we're doing a Pachin day." Yeah, definitely. All things go to plan. I don't know where else I'd spend it. Yeah. I don't even know when it when is whiskey day. I've never. 21st of May. I've never uh, never been invited, never done anything, never attended, and don't have any interest to in the future. Uh, 
I gotta say the uh, the mother booker that's on the menu now, um, mixing touching and book fast, book fast holds a uh, special place in my heart from a misspent childhood. Um, so yeah, definitely the mother booker. I think personal favorite is the Al Pacino, but uh, I think I just like the, the name of that more than anything else. It's obviously a, a twist on a Boulevardier. Honestly, I just like drinking it straight, you know? Give me a pint of beer, a pint of stout, and a sip away at a shot. That's, that's how I think Pachin should be drank. <laughs>